Bop. There's quite a few Republicans in Scotland. Scotty, can you ever see the crown being removed? No, I hope. Never, ever, ever, because the second you mess with the crown, the big boys step in. And uh, you would find independence just will not happen. And I've told them and told them, but of course, they know better. The half-witted idiots know better than Scotty McClue. A likely story. McClue studied this for 50 years. International affairs, leadership, monarchy, the crown, history. Not a problem. Something of an expert on it all and the legal side as well. And these half-witted idiots are knowers of nothing. There we go. Scotty, is the army not known as the British Army? Well, it's known as the British Army because uh, uh, the Queen is the army's commander-in-chief. She's the most senior officer. So when you're looking at the structure of the army or any of the armed forces, any of the three of them, you'll see the most senior officer at the top, H.M. the Queen. Now, the reason the Queen is British, yes, and she's probably the only actual British one, uh, the rest of us just are inhabitants of the landmass, is because the monarch was declared to be the King of Britain. Can you see? So that's why the army is the British army, yes, as opposed to the Scottish army, because it's very, very much largely made up of Scots. You know, huge, huge the regiments there. But is she elected? Yes, Johnny. Uh, she's elected in perpetuity. She was elected at the declaration of her broth when the nobles wrote to the Pope and said, can we choose our own king in Scotland? And the Queen has descended from that. So there you are. So yes, she is actually elected. But because they do such a fantastic job and it's such a wonderful system, they're elected in perpetuity. Are you with me? Good morning, fine fellow. Good morning, Captain Brucey. There we are, Lahoub. In the next 10 years, what are you talking about here, Lahoub? Hang on a second. Ryan says, if United Ireland ever came about, they'd be back to the troubles all over again. Well, no, I don't think they would because there would only be the one country. So there'd be no point in having, you don't have troubles in your own country. That's civil war. And I know you could say, well, the troubles were effectively civil war. I mean, we had uh, Scots soldiers over, you know, being murdered by their Irish brothers and sisters. What kind of nonsense is that? 